All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a past paper question of the topic graphs of functions. And with the help of uh, solving this question, we're going to try and understand the concept simultaneously. So this question is from May, June 2016, paper 2, variant 1. It's, uh, it's a very important question and very comprehensive. And uh, with the help of this, we should be able to cover all the concepts, inshallah. Okay, so here we have question number 1, which says the table below is for, and you're given the equation of the curve. And uh, the good thing is that the table has already been uh, filled for you. Normally at this point, the question will ask you to find out, uh, th there will be a missing value of y and the question will ask you to find that out. And uh, the question will give you, the examiner will give you one mark for that. Okay, so you're given the scale, which is two centimeters equals to one unit. That means you're gonna leave two boxes. Okay, and uh, mark one and then so on and so forth. And you're gonna start from minus three and go all the way to two and for y it's one is to one that means one centimeter equals to one unit and that goes from negative four to four okay so two centimeters to one unit so that means here we'll have one and then we'll have two and then in the opposite direction we'll have minus one minus two and minus three okay and then on the y-axis we'll have one two three four and then below the x-axis minus one minus two minus three and minus four Okay, now I'm gonna mark these points and I'm gonna plot them. So we start from minus three, three. So minus three, three is gonna be somewhere here. Uh, make sure that you put a cross and not a dot. Minus two, minus one is gonna be somewhere here. Minus one, minus three is gonna be here. Uh, zero, minus three is gonna be here. And then uh, at one, we have minus one, so that's gonna be here. At two, we have three, so that's gonna be here, okay? So now we're gonna join them with a smooth curve. Remember to make a smooth curve and uh, never join them with the help of straight lines. It always has to be a curve. Okay, so here we go. And okay, up until this point, we could see that the curve was, uh, was downward sloping. Now you can see that we have two points that are level. That means they are in horizontal form. Okay, so that, however, does not mean that you're going to make a straight line here. Since this is a quadratic curve, it is going to be symmetrical about its turning point. So we're going to take it down a bit and then we're going to bring it up. Okay, and then we are going to join it till the last point. Okay, so that's that. That's uh, how many marks? That's two marks. Okay. Then the question says, use your graph to estimate the solutions of the equation x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. Okay, before doing this, you got to make sure that whatever is on the left hand side, whatever expression you have on the left hand side is exactly equal to what you have on the graph, which is x squared plus x minus 3. So currently it is exactly equal. So all I got to do is I got to replace this with y and set it equal to 0. That means now I'm going to see when is the value of y equal to 0. Value of y equal to zero means cutting the x-axis. So let's identify those points where this curve is cutting the x-axis. So one point is here, I'm marking them in green, and the other is here, okay? So you gotta be as accurate as possible. This point right here looks to me as 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. So I'm gonna write 1.3. And this point right here looks to me as minus 2.1, minus 2.2, minus 2.3. So it's between minus 2.3 and minus 2.4. So I'm gonna write minus 2.35 as my final answer. Okay, so that's B part one, done. Now we have part two. Now here we're gonna learn a very important concept and that is what to do when the left hand side is not equal to y, which is the case here. Okay, so let's write down the equation of uh, the curve, which is y equals to x square plus x minus three. Remember to always have this in front of you. Okay, now let's write down x square plus x minus five. Leave a bit of space before you write the equals to sign and then write zero. Okay, now our primary primary objective is to bring this to bring this equal to y somehow. So we can see that they both have x square in them. That's great, nothing to add or subtract here. That they both have x in them, that's even better. But sadly, we have a minus five here and we need to bring this equal to minus three. So how do you bring minus five equal to minus three? You can do that by simply adding two on the left-hand side. And since this is an equation, if you've done something on your own on the left-hand side, you need to do the exact same on the right-hand side as well. So now the left-hand side becomes x square plus x minus three equals to two. You can see that now this is exactly equal to y and that's exactly what our objective was. And we're gonna simply replace it with y and we're gonna say y equals to two. So we need to draw a straight line before we can find out the solutions of the equation. And what is that straight line that we're going to draw? We're going to draw y equals to two. So this is the straight line that we are going to draw. So let's draw that. Let's try and be as neat as possible. 
so let's let's use the color blue i guess yeah no actually we've already used blue let's use red so y equals to two it's going to be somewhere here make sure that you do draw it with a scale and a pencil okay and now we got to look for the point or points of intersection so i can see two points one of them is here and this is going to be minus 2.8 so i'm going to write minus 2.8 here and you can see that we have to write down another one and this is going to be 1.8 all right two blocks before two that means this is going to be 1.8 okay so i hope that's uh, clear up, uh, everything's clear up till now okay and then we have another concept which says by drawing a tangent okay so whenever the question is asking you to find out the gradient of the curve at any point okay i repeat whenever the question wants you to find out the gradient of the curve at any point you do that always by drawing a tangent and that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a tangent and at the x coordinate what is the x coordinate that is one now when you're drawing a tangent there are a couple of things to keep in mind number one is that your tangent should just touch the curve and not cut it okay and it should touch the curve at the x value that we have in the question which is one and it should be the space of the tangent should be equal from both sides okay let, let me let me tell you what i mean just a second let me draw this tangent first okay so and it should also follow the steepness the the slope of the curve also so here you can see that the space of the tangent from uh, it, it's it's touching the curve at one actually no this needs to be fixed further just a second okay so this looks all right yeah so you can see that the space of the tangent at one at x equals to one it's just touching the curve and from then onwards it is equally spaced from the curve okay it's not it, it shouldn't be like uh, that there is more space on the top and less at the bottom it should be equally spaced from both sides and that is the ideal tangent however uh, you should keep in mind that uh, the examiner will always have a range of acceptable answer options so if your answer isn't as isn't the same as your friends that doesn't mean that it's wrong it just means that uh, it's possible that both the answers are inside the acceptable range and that is something that we're going to learn right now so i'm going to mark two points on the tangent uh, when you're marking points try and make sure i mean if it's possible to highlight integer points that's great but if that's not the case there's nothing to worry about so this i can see a point this looks fairly easy to read the x coordinate is going to be 2 and the y coordinate is going to be 1.246 so 2 comma 1.6 so i'm just going to write that down so that i don't forget 2 comma 1.6 okay and let's figure out the other point uh let's say let's take yeah let's take this point here we can see that the x is 0 and y is going to be minus 3.2 minus 3.4 minus 3.6 so 0 comma minus 3.6 so i'm going to find out the gradient of this so we're going to have minus 3.6 minus 1.6 over 0 minus 2 so minus 3.6 minus 1.6 is going to give us uh, let's see minus 4.2 minus 5.2 is that correct 3.6 plus 1.6 is in fact going to be minus 5.2 divided by minus 2 so the two minus values get cancelled out and let's see what's 5.2 divided by 2 that is going to be um, 2.6 yeah that's going to be 2.6 so 2.6 is our gradient at this point it would be it would be ideal to check what the gradient of the marking scheme is so that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So this is May, June 2016, paper 2, variant 1. Okay, now you can see here that the acceptable range is from 2.4 to 3.6. So that means uh, our answer was 2.6. So we are well inside the acceptable range. And that is going to be the case more than most of the time. Okay, so let's move further and see what we have. Okay, so in the next part, it says the equation x square minus x minus 1 can be solved by drawing a straight line on the graph y equals to x square plus x minus 3. Find the equation of this straight line. So again, this is the same concept over and over again. You have to solve x square minus x minus 1 equals to 0 by drawing a straight line. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to bring the y in front of you, which is uh, y equals to x square plus x minus 3. Okay, so 
you got to make sure that the expression on the left hand side is equal to the expression on the right. So we have x square minus x minus 1, leave a bit of space, equal to 0. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is you got to compare. So x squared here and x squared here, nothing to add, subtract, multiply. Uh, now the problem is that we have a plus x here and a minus x here. So how do you bring minus x equal to plus x? Well, you can do that by simply adding 2x, okay? Minus x plus 2x will be equal to x. And how do you bring minus 1 equal to minus 3? You can do that by subtracting 2. So if, this, if there's something that you've done on the left hand side, you need to do the exact same thing on the right hand side as well. So on the left hand side, we're going to have x square plus x minus 3 equals to 2x minus 2. So we're going to replace the left hand side with y because that's what it's equal to now and that's exactly what our objective was. So y equals to 2x minus 2. And what is the straight line that we are going to draw? The straight line that we are going to draw is 2x minus 2. Draw the straight line and hence solve. Okay, so hence solve means that we're going to solve this by looking at the point or perhaps the points of intersection. Okay, so I'm going to draw the line y equals to 2x minus 2. Let's see. Okay, now how do you, how do you draw a straight line? That's a good question. So if you have to draw a straight line, you got to come up with at least two points. Okay, we come up with three just in case, but two are more than enough. So I'm going to take uh, zero. So if I plug in zero in this equation, y equals to 2x minus 2, y will be equal to minus 2. If I plug in 1, so 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. If I plug in minus 1, so minus 2 minus 2 is going to be minus 4. So we have minus 1 minus 4 as one point. So minus 1 minus 4 as one point. Actually, I should use a different color. Let me see if I have a different color available. I've used, uh, I haven't used black. Okay, let's use black. So minus 1 minus 4 is one point. Is that correct? Yeah. 0 minus 2 is another. And then we have 1, 0. 1, 0. Okay, so I'm going to join these points with the help of a straight line. So there you go. Yeah. Now once you've done this, obviously the next part is to look at the point or perhaps the points of intersection. So here's one. I just highlighted that for you and here is another. Now I'm going to see what their values are. So this falls between, let's see, so this is going to be minus 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So between minus 0 0.6 and 7, so I'm going to go with minus 0 0.65. So one solution is minus 0 0.65. Let me just double check. Yeah, minus 0 0.65. And the other is going to be between, let me see, 1.5, 1 1.6, and 1.7. So between 1.6 and 1.7, that means 1.65. So there you have it. This was a full length graphs of functions question for you. And I hope everything that I did in this question, every concept that I explained is fully clear to you. In case it's not, don't worry. I will be solving a couple of more questions before the October November exam. And uh, I hope you guys are well prepared for paper two. I'll see you guys in the next video, inshallah. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.